Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Take Two for this Tuesday, the 9th of October, 2018. I hope you're having a great day, and for all of my friends who are in the danger zone of the storm, I say please be safe and take cover and make sure, please make sure that you prepare. Well, that's what this is all about this morning. Uh, this is Take Two. I am Jeannie, and I do want to say this. I think it is very, very, very important that we prepare for every kind of storm that's out there. Now, here we are in southeast Alabama, and for those of you who, who are watching, and I see you, Adam, Michelle, others who live in this part of the world, you understand what I'm talking about. So what does it mean when you turn on the weather report and you hear Category 3 hurricane could be making landfall as soon as 24 hours from now? Ah, what do you do? Well, you make sure you got your supplies, right? Like, for example, make sure you got lots of bottled water. Very important that you have some bottled water. What else? Oh, how about some candles? Make sure that you're not in the dark. You know, there are a lot of power outages. So, of course, we've got plenty of these. Oh, yes, Lord knows, we've got plenty of candles. Of course we do. And, of course, flashlight. And my husband, no, a simple little flashlight, certainly not. We have the trusty industrial flashlight. We couldn't go anywhere without that. <laughs> yes, Michelle, I see you say I'm running away. Yes, it's very true. A lot of people just want to evacuate and get out of town. What are the other kinds of things that we do when we're preparing for a storm? Of course, you've got the, you know, most important thing right here. <laughs> Make sure you got plenty of those. You don't want to run out of that. And always have canned goods. And it's good to have the kind with a flip top. I've got some soup here. I've got some veg. And, and remember, if you don't have electricity, you can't use an electric can opener. So make sure you have a manual can opener. You don't think about those things, but you know what? You do end up needing these kinds of things. There are always going to be storms in our lives, boys and girls. Sometimes they're going to be the kind that you need an umbrella for. Sometimes they're the kinds that you need to hammer up ply boards and keep your house safe. But there are other kinds of storms. May I wax poetic for just a moment? There are other kinds of storms in our lives that we can never prepare for. Things that we just never expect to happen, but guess what? They do. So what do you do then? I've been telling you about my friend Linda, who was on a run-of-the-mill uh, road trip with a friend, Patty. And they were riding, and they were in Ohio, and they were on their way to Ohio, and they were as far as Kentucky, around the Lexington area, when they had a head-on collision with a pickup truck, which was kind of a scary thing. And it was very frightening to imagine that not only could they have lost their lives, they could have been, you know, if they didn't, they could have been paralyzed, any number of things. This resulted in Linda having to have surgery on her neck and having a pin inserted in her uh, neck, in the vertebrae in her neck. Now, uh, we're great grateful that Linda's alive to tell the tale, but I do have to say this. Guess what? Linda just may have a little bit of a storm ahead of her because this wasn't something she was expecting. She was expecting, you know, we we're heading into deep into football season and she's a big Alabama football fan and, and I'm sure she intended on spending a lot of time her weekends back and forth to Tuscaloosa to see the games and that kind of thing. But of course now, you know, the brakes are on and her life has changed just a little bit because of this. So where she might be expecting to do one thing, she might end up being at physical therapy or staying at family with family and that kind of thing. So there are always storms that are going to enter into our lives that are unexpected. See, the magic and miracle today of meteorology is that way in advance, these things could be predicted. These things could be prepared for. You can get ready to have your candles ready and your canned goods and your other important necessities of life. You can have these things ready because you know, because weeks in advance, when storms are starting to form and that kind of thing, these weather watchers, these professionals, they're on it. They can watch it and they know what 
what's going on and they could prepare. But let me tell you something, not five minutes before that accident happened with Linda on the interstate, that wasn't something she could have prepared for because she didn't know it was going to happen. It was a boom, a sudden storm. So if you have any sudden storms that just pop up in your life, the thing that you need to do the most is make sure that you lean on the Lord for him to give you that peace and comfort to get you through these storms of life. Is it important to prepare for regular storms? Of course it is, but you can never be a hundred percent prepared for the other kinds of storms that happen in your life. So here's what I'm going to encourage you to do, boys and girls. I'm going to encourage you to go be a blessing to somebody today. Go be a blessing to somebody who might be going through an unexpected storm in their lives right now. Go be a blessing. You might end up being the only one who is. Now, I'm seeing my good friend Adam up here watching with me today. Today. Hello, Adam. And I know that I am preaching to the choir when I talk to him because that young man has had a number of storms pop up suddenly in his life. And yet with the love and, and support of good friends and family, he's gotten through and he's up on the top of it. So way to go, Adam. I just want to give you kudos for that. So go be a blessing. Hey, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Click that uh, subscribe button, okay? I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And who knows, maybe when you get to a place where you have a storm going on in your life, you might be able to watch some of my past take twos and they might end up being a blessing to you. Make sure that you tune in to some good, easy listening, wonderful, smooth and easy music and great programming on my radio station, WRMZ. Dot org. Click that listen button. Okay, boys and girls, I got a lot of preparing to do. Let's see. I've got, uh, I've got, oh my goodness. Well, I got the toilet paper, but that's probably one of the most important things anyway. <laughs> okay, a lot of prep to do. Got to get busy for this big storm that's on its way. If you don't hear from me tomorrow, you know it's because I've had no electricity and couldn't get to this thing. But I love you all very much and uh, have a good one and be safe, okay? I'll see you tomorrow for hump day, hopefully, anyway.